My name is Marleen Burger and I am a board member of FMN Young. For the virtual facility tour of World Workplace Europe 2022, we are at Korda Campus in Hasselt, Belgium. Only six years ago, this old Philips site is transformed into a high-tech environment and workplace of the future. Today, over 250 companies and 5,000 people are based here at Korda Campus, making it the largest and leading tech campus in the center of the EU region. I am standing here with Raf Degens, CEO of the Corda campus. Raf, thank you for welcoming us on this beautiful campus. Pleasure. Well, uh, the Corda campus is ready to start the next step in the Corda story and is launching its master plan 2.0. Raf, can you tell us something more about the master plan? Yes, the master plan, as we, we, we made kind of like a picture envisioning it right here, um, it's really about bringing the campus to the future. So uh, the campus nowadays is up and running since uh, six years only. Uh, if people uh, are, are uh, visiting the campus, they believe it's like already like 10, 15, 20 years. It's only, it started in 2015, as a matter of fact. Uh, and it's all started with, with the main building, with, with building the main building, the Corda One building. As you can see in the picture as well, it's kind of like a, a strange campus, as people say, because it's an old uh, Philips factory. So it's a very industrial site. Uh, we kept as well uh, some of the Philips buildings because we strongly believe that we want to keep that kind of innovation, that kind of uh, breathe that we have uh, into the campus. And we, we added on some uh, additional buildings, but we, we always have been chosen for some particular architecture as well. So what you will see is indeed is a combination which might uh, feel strange. Another thing that you will see is as well is a very green campus, which is really important uh, for us as well. And over the last six years, uh, we have been mainly focusing on attracting companies uh, on the campus. So today we are with 250 companies, so 250. Uh, we are with 5,000 people uh, on campus. We are very proud to say that we are the number one campus in Belgium, for sure. And we dare to claim that we are top three within Europe, uh, uh, besides the high-tech campus in the Netherlands, in Eindhoven, and uh, Station F in uh, Paris. Uh, we consider ourselves as, as being uh, the top three. And what we have been doing now in the master plan is to build further on that, and, and not mainly, let's say, investing in offices, because right now we have 100,000 square meters of offices. And the idea was as well to bring life into campus, to really focus on com community building, uh, as we mentioned it. Um, so there as well, we took along an international agency to support us uh, on that, and, uh, an agency from Amsterdam. Um, and we did a very good exercise in a sense that what should we do now, not mainly to attract companies anymore, but to attract talents. Because that's the main focus now of the future mas master plan. It's about attracting talents. And if you want to attract talent, you have to work in a different way. It's not only about providing offices, but it's providing community feeling. It's about uh, providing pleasure. It's, it must be much more than just a working place. It's work, live, play uh, on the same campus. And to that extent, we have been uh, focusing on um, a number of, of facilities, uh, as we can call it. We looked at 24 different options. Uh, and in the end, we kept over 11 functions that we're going to invest in. Not going to elaborate on, on all 11 of them, but to, just to give you an idea, as you can see in the picture as well, uh, the main function and will also be very central in, in the new master plan is what we call the Corda Arena. It's, it's the next generation of arenas. Uh, you can mention what, what is the purpose of having an arena uh, on the campus, but that's what the campus is all about. It's about business, it's about eventing, it's about meeting people, it's about technology, but it will, because it will be a very uh, high-end uh, digital arena and to that respect as well with the arena for instance we are able to host congresses because it's mainly um, meant uh, to host uh, international congresses from 500 people 1500 1500 up until 4000 people and this as well will be like the cornerstone uh, of the campus um, the purpose as well is that we will not only run one shift as we do today, we have a normal office shift. Uh, the purpose of the campus is as well to run two shifts. So it will be like a normal office shift, but then of course the evening shift and the weekend shift will come on top of them. So it will be like a vibrant place where you can eat, work, sports, 
have fun in, uh, at the same place. Wow. That sounds amazing. And how are uh, choices made um, with regards to the organization of the campus and how is FM contributing um, to that? Well, facility management, of course, is, it's, it's key. How to run a campus like this, it's, 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 yeah, we consider it it's a small city, yeah? especially now with, with, when we go in and, and run the two, uh, the two shifts. So uh, from a facility point of view, it's, it's really, uh, really important for us. And that's one of the, the strengths as well of this successful campus is that it must be what we call it must be very neat here. Right? If you come in here, you see that everything looks fine. That's what, what people who are visiting or working here really like. It's a technology campus. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, technology minded people here. Um, so that is one thing. Um, then the second thing which, which is really important as well and what we're going to focus uh, on in the future is about the whole sustainability uh, concept. So it's not only about bringing uh, buildings, let's say, up to the next level, it's really about the full picture. Just to give you an idea as well, the average age of people working here on campus is 28, 20 years, years old. That's my so that's, age. Yeah, so that's really young, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is great. Uh, but, yes. but we feel as well like if we look at the new generation, they look differently at things. Yeah? And we see as well that companies are following that. So we see that already in the type of food they're choosing. Yeah? So there as well, the whole catering concept is, is adapted to that. We have different choices, different styles of menus, uh, all belonging to or all, 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 let's say, dedicated to that new generation. And that's the same way how we're going to establish offices as well. How we're going to establish that Corda Arena. We're going to work with business flats. We're going to build the school of the future. So it's all about sustainability. It's all about the green environment and, and a healthy workplace. So that's there as well. It's a really important role of the whole facility team to really, really work on that. Yeah. And I heard you uh, telling about school of the future. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, of course, if we want to uh, be the, the talent campus of the future and we really want to attract talents, then of course you need to have some kind of integration with the academic world as well. We have already, uh, let's say, that collaboration in place today with the university and the high school uh, within this region. Uh, but the next phase is as well to really uh, focus on having an international school uh, at Corda campus. Attracting talents is not only about, let's say, attracting local talents, it's also about attracting international talents. We have a lot of expats already working uh, on the campus today. It will only, let's say, be more in the future because we really need to have those particular skills. And uh, to attract those international talents, you need to be sure as well that they can bring their children along, uh, of course, and uh, the idea is to, uh, to start with an uh, international school environment, but there as well, everything will be multifunctional. So it's not only about an, an international school. Part of the school will, will be as well uh, that we're going to build what we call the school of the future. So we believe that we can build an environment, we can build a building that is really, again, next generation and where we can have classrooms where really young people get motivated about technology, about sciences and so on. So that will be fully part of this uh, master plan as well. Okay. Well, Ralph, thank you very much um, for giving us some information about the master plan. And well, we are very curious to uh, see more of that in the future. You're always welcome, yes. of course. My thank pleasure. you. And can you tell more about the DNA of the Corda campus? Yes, the DNA about the Corda campus is built around uh, six cornerstones, as we call it. So it's first of all about technology and innovation, uh, as, as you already heard uh, before. Uh, another one is about um, openness. It's a very open campus, as you can see, there are no barriers. Everybody is welcome. Everybody can, can have access to the campus as well uh, during office hours. Uh, it's about uh, community building, as you can see here as well. It's not just a working place, uh, which is really important, as, as we said already before. We really emphasize that. So it's, it's about bringing young people to the campus. It's about uh, having fun. It's about organizing drinks, organizing events, uh, those kind of things. It's about uh, entrepreneurship and it's about co-creation. And that last piece is very important as well. It's the role of the campus, of our team, as well to, to bring companies together. We know the companies, we know the larger companies, we know the smaller companies, and our goal and role is to bring them together in order for them to, to work together on projects, on mutual investments, and so on and so on.
Arnia Verstrepen, Facility Manager of the Corda Campus, will guide us and tell us everything about this dynamic environment. Arnia, welcome. Thank you for having us here at Corda Campus. It's a pleasure. Let me show you around. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Can you give us an example of an initiative, how you create a more sustainable campus? Yes, we have several um, sustainable initiatives here on the campus. When we walk around the campus, we will um, go more in depth about it. Well, we see here very remarkable green rooftops. Uh, can you elaborate on that? What is the function of the green rooftop? Yes, the green rooftops, is, uh, they are very nice. It's an iconic view as well here on the campus. It's very popular. A lot of people, uh, they mingle here and come together in the, in the heart of the campus with a nice view. For us, um, the green roofs uh, has also another function, first of all. Um, it, it contributes to the isolation of the building. And um, the green roofs, they are also a buffer. For, for, for water, which we uh, store in uh, large basins. And uh, this rainwater we will reuse um, when it is needed to flush the toilets, but also to irrigate again the green roofs in the dry periods. And I also saw some robotic lawnmowers. Correct, we have several uh, robotic lawnmowers here uh, on the campus. We have six on the green rooftops and two are on other places on the campus. Now these uh, robots on, on the green rooftops, um, it, it is very practical because it's a steep height. Uh, if you have to do that manually, it's really hard. So, uh, and we are a tech campus, so we try um, always new initiatives. Now these, uh, Robots, they cut the grass and the advantage of that is that it, is all, it looks always neat, but also that um, we don't have extra waste. Um, and, and the cutted grass uh, fertilize again the green uh, rooftops. So it's a whole cyclus, um, which is uh, an environmental cyclus, which is really nice. This is another great example of a sustainability initiative here at the campus. We have a partnership with Fresh Tray because cigarette butts is uh, one of the most polluting um, items in, in the world. So yearly 4.3 billion cigarette butts end up on the, on the ground. And uh, with this initiative, we try to contribute a little bit to a better world. So how it works is that the supplier comes weekly to our campus and um, comes and collect the container with the cigarette butts. From there on, the cigarette butts will be um, um, all collected and there will be made a, a sprayable granulate of it which then will be used by a 3D printer to create new uh, pocket ashtrays or ashtrays for the car. Well, I think it's a great example uh, on well how we transform this into something positive. Absolutely, yeah. And what type of companies can we find here? Here at Cargadai we have a mix of uh, different companies. We've got uh, startups, we've got scale-ups and quite a lot of corporate offices as well. Besides that also network organizations, government institutions and development uh, institutions are here home as well. Here at, uh, at Corda, um, we find it very important as well that we have a good balance between the different types of companies. So we follow the 80-20 rule, which means that 80% of the companies here on the site are uh, innovative and technology driven companies and the other 20% they provide general services. It can be like a lawyer or admin support, etc.
So what type of workplace concepts do we have here at Corda Campus? Well, over here where we are, we have uh, what we think is the, the new way of working concept. Um, it is an old Philips building where we kept the outer shell, but the entire is completely renovated. The entire zone consists of 35 different units, each 35 square meters, and we can um, play with it. So if a company grows, then we can re remove the walls uh, quite quickly so that the, um, the office grows together, align, aligned with the growth of the company. Also in this zone, we have a combination of startups and scale-ups. It is um, and the heart of this um, of this area is mainly the kitchen because that is where everybody comes together and where communities and the, are created. So this is a nice example of our partnership with uh, Ericsson. Our campus was the first campus who was who had five. 5G network. Um, during the, the recent years, quite a lot of suppliers came to our campus to try out their new products uh, to see if uh, they were working on this new network. Well, what is the role of facility management in attracting talent? Here at Corda, experience is very important and we try to have a lot of uh, um, different uh, initiatives where that our community can participate. We are a technology uh, innovative campus and we organize uh, different um, rooms, setups where the, um, the youngsters here actively can participate. We are here in front of the metaverse room where that you um, can have a deep dive in the in the world of Meta by um, wearing the goggles. Well, by putting up a VR grill, you enter in the virtual world. You get a format of an avatar, and in there you can do different uh, sports, or you can have uh, a walk, or you can uh, visit something. You can participate at a tournament or a festival, etc. And there's even a barber shop. Correct. Here at Corda, we provide a large uh, set of services. It goes from a barber shop to a metaverse room. Um, we provide as well uh, private chauffeurs when you have to uh, participate uh, or go to uh, an event and you don't want to drive back, you can uh, uh, use their services. You have also like an, an iron services where you can uh, bring your basket with, uh, with clothes and then uh, two days later you can uh, pick this up. So the variety of uh, services is uh, quite large and we try to invent every time ourselves and uh, the aim is um, by adding more and more services. And what do we see here? Well, here we have a key box. It is a prototype of one uh, of our startups. So we used our um, ground to, uh, to store the box so that uh, everybody here from the incubator can try and test it out and provide feedback towards the company to make adjustments. So mainly the box is um, whenever you go on holiday, you're always, what do I do with my uh, car keys or with my home keys? And this box will make sure that you will never lose them on vacation because before you take off, you drop them in the keep box. And whenever you come back at the airport, you collect your keys and uh, go safely home. Well, here we have our unmanned shop. It is available 24 hours, seven days a week. It is a very um, neat concept. It is very easy to access. You just enter with a QR code or with your bank account, with your credit card. The gates opens with trust. The cameras over there, they keep, you, keep an eye on you 
and it will um, register which products you are taking. So you don't need to pay? No, there is so, nobody there. Yeah, there's no, no well. It, no, absolutely, there is no cashier or anything. You just take the products and then whenever you're ready, you just leave. The gate will open and you can uh, get out. And why did you choose to install your product here at Corda Campus? Um, we choose to uh, work with Corda Campus because they are really uh, an innovative company. Uh, it's a big campus here, a lot of opportunity for us, and uh, it felt like a partnership right away. Here at Corda, it's all about the experience. It goes from the first moment that you arrive at the parking lot until that you enter in your office, but also we would like to offer a nice variety of uh, food and beverage outlets which um, is good for the community creation, not only with the, the people who work on the campus, but also with the neighborhood. For example, this restaurant is open um, seven days a week and um, it is uh, quite often very full. The, the main impact is uh, for our campus that uh, it is a very nice uh, uh, and, and um, a vibrant uh, atmosphere and that's what we uh, strive for here at Corda. Well, Anja, thank you very much for having us here at Corda campus today for the virtual facility tour for World Workplace Europe. And we wish you all the best with the master plan 2.0. Thank you so much. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Cheers.